The class of 2022 is heading into a great job market. Let me add my congratulations to all of you for this extraordinary accomplishment under challenging, unprecedented circumstances. They are the most in-demand college graduates to enter the job market in years. It took a long time. Uh, to get any responses. And then very suddenly I started getting many interview requests. This job market is the tightest for labor that I have seen. The nationwide labor shortage means grads are in high demand and they know it. I think happiness and the ability to be happy in the workspace has been more prioritized now than ever. Wanting a job that's going to not only be something that pays well and is fulfilling um, professionally, but also is fulfilling emotionally. So, as the class of 2022 enters the workforce with far more leverage than grads from recent years, how should they approach the job market? I casted a wide net. I was looking for jobs everywhere uh, in New England, in the Southeast, on the West Coast. Top of line for many grads is salary. The pay was the most important thing for me. I have expenses. I know I will have college loan payments coming soon. And making sure that I am prepared for those is the most important thing. A shortage of entry-level workers in some sectors has led to starting salaries of $100,000 or more for inexperienced workers. They are very aware of the tumult of the last few years and are really looking for stability. And the dollar figure on that paycheck is going a long way for, for many individuals. Flexibility is also important to these recent grads. Because new graduates can afford to be choosy, some are taking their time to lock in a new job. According to a recent survey, about half of new grads who hadn't decided on a job had gotten at least one offer without accepting. There are students that I can think of who have had offers in hand uh, that they are just about to accept and then are contacted by recruiters from other organizations to say, we urgently have an opportunity we want you to consider. That's what happened to Austin Bowles, who recently accepted a position as a staff electrician at Northern Stage, a theater in Vermont. To be totally honest here, uh, Northern Stage actually wasn't the first place I accepted. I accepted another job, uh, a summer stock job is what we call it. It's a temporary only for the summer. I had accepted that uh, in South Carolina, and it wasn't until sometime in March when I got an email from Northern yeah. Stage here saying, we'd like to interview. And so I actually had to give them an unfortunate call, letting them know that I wouldn't go there and I was going to go here. So I do wish I had gone a little slower. Outside of salary, many recent grads have other requests for their future employers. I'm a first generation low income college student and I very much, yes, salary was something that was very important, but on top of that, I also wanted a company that was going to prioritize my work-life balance and I also wanted to be able to do work that I felt very proud of, but also was very interested in. Eugene Thomas recently graduated from Yale. After interning at John Deere over the summer, he took a position with the company in Iowa. Students are very discerning and thoughtful about how the organization's values line up with their values. And that is certainly around issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I felt really comfortable with the entire team of engineers at John Deere. I was able to visit Waterloo, Iowa at some point throughout the summer. Every single one of the members of the engineering team made me feel very comfortable. One of the biggest challenges for recent grads is housing, which has been made more difficult by the recent surge in rental prices. The place I'm currently working with uh, here, the Northern Stage, they have subsidized housing, and that was a uh, a key factor in the decision. I am from New York City, um, and I guess there was some incentive to work in a place where cost of living is considerably lower than New York City and even New Haven, Connecticut. Median apartment rents are up more than 16% in the past year, and up 28% since January of 2017. They uh, saw their families impacted by the Great Recession uh, years ago. They certainly have seen people be impacted by the pandemic and corresponding employment crisis that resulted from that and the tight finances that people felt during those times um, and to some degree are still feeling. So I think the rental prices and the concern about where will I live and how will I finance this are connected to the salary conversations that folks are having. After years of working remotely, Grubb said many students want to get into the field. I have talked personally with a few students who uh, worked for organizations as a summer intern, and those internships were fully virtual. And while these students are very grateful to have had those experiences, they 
feel like they missed out on opportunities to connect with other people in their workplaces. Hands-on experience was very important to me, especially I think the class of 22 was really special in that respect, especially in industries like engineering, because a lot of your classes during your junior year would have been done more hands-on and in-person, and that entire year was remote, at least for Yale. On top of that, my summer internship, with the exception of one week, was remote, and I was able to have a lot of great experience there and a lot of exposure. However, I would have loved, like, if it were in person, COVID permitting, like COVID permitting, um, to have more hands-on experience, and I'm really excited to get some throughout my postgrad job. 